Hi everybody, Miss Curdy here, and today we're going to be watching our choice video. Um, so after watching the first video, if you're still having some trouble, uh, some trouble adding on, this video is for you. So we're going to do some more practice with a follow along sheet. So you want to get the sheet that has the milk image up at the top, and that is the page that we are going to be working on today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's do this first one together. So I'm trying to solve this subtraction problem, 373 minus 146. But the strategy I'm going to use is adding on. Make sure you put your name, date, and number at the top. Forgot to tell you that. All right, so we're going to do some adding on. I'm going to start with my smaller number because I'm going to be counting on 146 um, plus what? is going to get me to 373. And I don't know that number yet, but I'm going to slowly add on until I get there. All right, so let's begin. Switch colors. So I always want to add on some ones first to get to a nice round number. So I know if I'm at 46, I can add four more to get to 150. Once I've added on ones, I'm gonna add on some tens to get to my next 100. So if I'm at 150, I can add 50 more to get me to 200. So ones, tens, I bet you can guess we're going to do hundreds next. 200 plus 100 will get me to my 300. So now I'm in my hundreds. I've got 73 more to go. I'm going to do 300 plus 70. And now I just need three more to get to 300 and 73. So here's my start number right here and my end number. And last but certainly not least, I have to find my final answer. So I need to see what I added on. So I've got a 100, a 50, and a 70. So 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120 plus another 100 is 220. And now I've got my 4 and my 3, which is 7. So I'm going to get a total of 227. So I know the difference between 373 and 146 is 200. And 27. Um, so take a look. If you need to pause the video to catch up, go for it. All right, and then we'll move on to the next problem. All right, so I want you to be brave and give this one a try on your own. So pause the video. See how far you can get. If you can only do a couple steps, that's okay. Press play, and then let's see we can finish it the rest of the way. All right, so I know I'm going to start at 246 and count up to 783. So let's go ahead and start. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add on some ones. So I know if I add four ones, it'll bring me to 250. Now that I've done my ones, I wanna add on some tens. So I'm gonna add 50 to get to 300. And now I've done my ones, tens, so now I need to add on some hundreds. So 300 to get to 700, I'm gonna need 400 more. All right, so now I've got ones, tens, hundreds. I'm gonna go back to some tens. So I need 80 more to get to that 780 mark. And then I'm gonna add three more to get to 783. So my start number, my end number, and now we're gonna add up all of the numbers we added on. All right, so I know I've got my 400 and an 80 and a 50. So we've got 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. And then that becomes a nice easy problem. That will be 530. And then that's all left is this four and this three, which is seven a total of 537. Awesome. 
All right, so take a look, compare your work to my work. Um, if you did your adding on slightly different, but you still ended up with 537, that's great. There's different ways to add on. Um, if it didn't go so well, pause the video, see, um, compare your steps to mine, make some changes, and then let's pause the video and try this one on our own now. All right, I'm gonna start at 257 and work my way up to 637. So 257 plus three ones will get me to 260. Now I'm gonna add on some tens. I'm gonna add 40 tens. That will get me to a nice 300. Ones, tens, hundreds now. So 300 plus another 300 gets me to that 600. So ones, tens, hundreds, back to tens. 600 plus 30 is 630. And then I just have to add on seven more ones to get me to 637. All right, so I've got my start number, my end number, and now we're gonna add these guys together. So I know my 40 plus my 30 is gonna give me 70. So I'll do 300 plus 70 is 370, plus a seven and three is 10. So I'm gonna add 10 more, which brings my total to 380. So take a look, think about how you did. Are there any steps that are tripping you up a little bit? And if so, figure out what step it is. Is it when you're adding on the ones? Is it when you're done with the hundreds and have to go back to adding tens and ones? Take a look, compare your work. And then let's move on to this one. So again, I want you to try this one on your own first. So pause the video, see how far you can get, and then press play to check your work with me. All right, so we're going to start at 468. I'm going to add two to get me to 470. Now I'm going to add on some tens to get me to my 100. And now that I'm at 500... Oh, I just need 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. I just need 500 more to get to my 1,000. That was actually a, a, a lot less steps. That's perfect. All right, so now I've got my start number, my end number, my start number, my end number, and now I'm going to add this all up. 500 plus 30 is 530, plus just two more is 532. All right, so take a minute to look over your work. Think about how you did. Um, and now the next thing you're going to work on is you're going to flip over your page to the cookie side. And you're going to solve these problems on your own. And when you're finished, you're going to turn them into your teacher. And they will look them over and then give you any more help that they need or have you move on. So at this time, um, after you're done with this, think about how you're feeling. And then you're going to move on to some more practice. You're going to go to workbook one, and you're going to work on 63 and page 64. And there's actually an answer key posted on Google Classroom. Um, you may also have a printed out copy from your teacher. But this way, you can check your own work to see how you're doing. Um, after you're done with that, if you still feel like you need more practice, you can go on iReady um, and work on that practice thing. If you're feeling good and that you're ready to move on, you actually can move on to the comprehension check on iReady and follow these steps on your plan um, to work on that. If you have any questions, just ask your teacher, and I will see you back here for the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.